Hey everyone, I'm Dan Julio, and this video shows you how to build a TCAM thermal imaging camera. You'll be assembling these parts, including my G-Core and TCAM mini boards. Kits should be available from Group Gets, either through a campaign or in their online store. I recommend getting TCAM mini with the Lepton 3.5. It has full radiometric capability. These connectors and screws match a 3D printed enclosure from my repo. The battery must be sized to fit the enclosure and have the correct pinout. Connecting a battery with the wrong pinout can damage G-Core. But don't despair if your battery comes with the wrong pinout. You can use a jeweler's screwdriver to carefully pry up the plastic retainers and swap the wires in the connector. Just don't short them. You'll also need a soldering iron, solder, some double sticky tape, and isopropyl alcohol with Q-tips to clean the solder joints. Printing the three enclosure parts takes a few hours, so you might want to start that before assembling the electronics. The design and STL files are in the repo. G-Core comes loaded with a demo that needs to be replaced with the TCAM firmware. To make that easy, I wrote a loader program that runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows computers. Go to my website and drill down to the TCAM page. Scroll down until you find the serial updater and then download the zip file for your platform. After unzipping, you can run the program by opening the folder and double clicking the TCAM serial programmer executable. Make sure to select the TCAM firmware type. Check the list of serial ports to see what you have on your computer. Then plug G-Core into your computer's USB port and turn it on. Checking the serial port list again will show the new port associated with G-Core. Select that port and click the program button. It will download the latest firmware and load it onto G-Core. You should see G-Core reboot into the TCAM firmware after about 15 to 20 seconds. Disconnect G-Core. The 8-pin female connector is soldered onto the G-Core I.O. expansion port, starting with the plus V terminal facing away from the screen. The 10-pin male connector is soldered onto the DCAM Mini slave interface port, starting with the 5-volt terminal facing away from the lepton. Plug the jumper header onto the mode and ground pins. This tells the TCAM Mini it will be using the slave interface instead of Wi-Fi. Then you can test plugging the two boards together. Use a little isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip to clean away any solder flux. Finally, we can assemble the camera. Use the pan head screws to mount TCAM Mini in the enclosure. Don't fully tighten the screws until they're all in place and don't over tighten. Then use some of the double sticky tape to mount the battery.
connect the battery to G-Core. Insert the I.O. plate and then align G-Core so the connectors line up and carefully press the two boards together. It's important to get this right or you can damage DCAM Mini. Then make sure the camera works before finishing the assembly. Note the bezel has a cutout for the left side of the LCD. Hold it firmly against the base so the screws will catch. Use the flathead screws to fasten the bezel to the base. You might have to clean out the screw holes in the base before the screws will fit. Don't over tighten. Congratulations, you've made a thermal imaging camera. There's more information at the following links. Thank you for watching.